is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pasture. He leadeth me beside festal waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff may comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His will in all you do, and He will show you which path to take. Don't be impressed with your own wisdom. Instead, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Then you will have healing for your body and strength for your bones. Honor the Lord with your wealth and with the best part of everything you produce. Then He will fill your barns with grain and your vats will overflow with good wine. My child, don't reject the Lord's discipline and don't be upset when He corrects you. For the Lord corrects those he loves, just as a father corrects a child in whom he delights. Joyful is the person who finds wisdom, the one who gains understanding, for wisdom is more profitable than silver, and her wages are better than gold. Wisdom is more precious than rubies. Nothing you desire can compare with her. She offers you long life in her right hand and riches and honor in her left. She will guide you down delightful paths and her ways. All her ways are satisfying. Wisdom is a tree of life to those who embrace her. Happy are those who hold her tight. By wisdom, the Lord founded the earth. By understanding, He created the heavens. By His
his knowledge the deep fountains of the earth burst forth and the dew settles beneath the night sky my child They will refresh your soul. They are like jewels on a necklace. They keep you safe on your way, and your feet will not stumble. You can go to bed without fear. You will lie down and sleep soundly. You never not be afraid of sudden disaster or the destruction that comes upon the Lord is your security. He will keep your foot from being caught in a trap. Do not withhold good from those who deserve it. When, it, when it's in your power to help them, if you can help your neighbor now, don't say, come back tomorrow and then I'll help you. Don't plot harm against your neighbor. For those who by trust you. Don't pick a fight without reason. When no one has done you harm, don't envy violent people or copy their ways. Such wicked people are detestable to the Lord, but He offers His friendship to the godly. The Lord mocks the mockers, but is gracious to the humble. The wise inherit honor, but fools are put to shame. Proverbs chapter 4 verses 1 to 27 A father's wise advice My children, listen father corrects you. Pay attention and learn good judgment, for I am giving you good guidance. Don't turn away from my instructions, for I, too, was once my father's son, tenderly loved as my mother's only child. My father taught me, take my words to heart. Follow my commands and you will live. Get wisdom. Develop good judgment. Don't forget my words or turn away from them. Don't turn your back on wisdom or she will protect you. Love her and she will guard you. Getting wisdom is the wisest thing you can do. And whatever else you do, develop and wisdom she will make you great embrace her and she will honor you she will place a lovely wreath on your head she will present you she will present you with a beautiful crown my child listen to me and do as I say and you will have a long good life I will teach you wisdom's ways and lead you in straight paths. When you walk, you won't be held back. When you run, you won't stumble. Take hold of my instructions and let them go. Guard them for they are the key to life. Don't rest until they cause someone to stumble. They eat the food of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. The way of the righteous is like the first gleam of dawn, which shines ever brighter until the full light of day. But the way of the wicked is like total 
darkness. They have no idea what they are stumbling over. My child, pay attention to what I say. Listen carefully to my words. Don't lose sight of them. Let, the pen let them penetrate deep into your heart. For they bring life to those who find them their whole body. Guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. Avoid all perverse talk. Stay away from corrupt speech. Look straight ahead and fix your eyes on what lies before you. Mark out a straight path for your feet. Stay on the safe Get sidetracked. Keep your feet following. Even. Avoid immoral women. Proverbs chapter five, verses one to twenty-three. My son, pay attention. of an immoral woman are as sweet as honey, and her mouth is smoother than oil. But in the end, she is a bitter as poison, as dangerous as a double-edged sword. Her feet go down to death, her steps lead straight to the grave, for she cares nothing about the down a crook trail and doesn't realize it. So now my sons listen to me. Never stray from what I am about to say. Stay away from her. Don't go near the door of her house. If you do, you will lose your honor and will lose to merciless people all you have achieved. Strangers will consume your wealth and someone else will enjoy the fruit of your labor. In the end, you will groan in anguish when disease consumes your body. You will say, how I hated discipline. If only I had not ignored all the warnings, oh, why didn't I listen to my teachers? Why didn't I pay attention to my instructors? I have come to the brink of utter ruin and now I must face public disgrace. Drink water from your own well. Share your love 